Turn for their first morning hour order of business, Delegate Sickles. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members of the House. Could I be joined in the center aisle by Delegates Mullen, Simon, Lopez, Krizak, Murphy, Herring, Bourne, Bell, Webert, Campbell, and McGuire? And Tran? And Devin? <laughs> Today I have the honor of presenting the Speaker's Resolution, H.R. 165, committing our great baseball team in Washington, D.C. As you know, the ballpark is in the district, but very accessible to Virginians via metro or by automobile or by bicycle. 60% uh, of those seats in the Nationals ballpark are filled by Virginians, 60%. Uh, with us today are the President of Baseball Operations General Manager, Mike Rizzo. Uh, Vice President, Vice President of Communications Jennifer Maston Gillio, and her son, uh, her son, uh, her son Carter, and Tawana West, the Manager of Public Safety and Security, who just told me that the Virginians were the politest people that came to the ballpark. Yay! Yay! So I'm, I'm, this is not that long a resolution. It's got great facts in here. Most of you probably know these things, but I'm going to read a good bit of it. Sorry. You know, uh, we won the World Series. Yeah. Yeah. The, defeating the Houston Astros in seven games, the last time a Major League Baseball team from Washington, D.C. won a World Series was nearly a century ago, following years without baseball in the nation's capital multiple hundred lost seasons in a series of painful playoff defeats uh, starting in 2012. The, um, the victory was long-awaited opportunity for fans in the capital and the region and throughout the Commonwealth to rejoice. So the Washington Nationals motto, Madam Speaker, was stay in the fight. After starting the year, everybody knows this, was a disappointing 19-31 and 31 record. The team nonetheless finished the regular season with 93 wins, earning a playoff berth and starting its march to the World Series. In October, the team became the only second club in Major League Baseball history to win it all after being 12 games below 500. That's worth a clap, I think. That's an important. Stay the fight. Uh, the relentless spirit that lifted the team into the playoffs carried them to the very end with the Washington National posting five come-from-behind wins in elimination games in the 2019 season, including, of course, the astounding seventh inning comeback in game seven in the World Series in that town in the south that's so hot. Um, uh, whereas, uh, test, as a testament to the improbable historical nature of this season, the Washington Nationals became the only club in National, Baseball, National League Baseball history to win th three winner-take-all games in the same postseason and to win every game of a seven-game series on the road. Okay. And... Uh, <laughs> And the uh, accomplishment was uh, highlighted by dominant pitching from the big four, Patrick Corbin, Annabelle Sanchez, Max Scherzer, yes. uh, Kathleen's neighbor, and, uh, and Steven Strasburg. And, and uh, clutch hitting from Adam Eaton, Howie Kendrick, Anthony Rendon, and Juan Soto. So um, the Commonwealth was well represented in the Washington Nationals World Series with outstanding contributions from University of Alumni, both uh, Sean Doolittle and Ryan Zimmerman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And an Old Dominion University alumnus, Daniel Hudson. How about that? Bet you didn't know that. So uh, um, the Nationals will not only be remembered for their caliber of play, but for the much appreciated levity they brought to the game through their on-field rituals, celebrations, home run dugout dances, and baby shark sing-alongs. <laughs> Paul Krizak told me he would show you how the baby shark is done now. Where's Paul? Okay. Yeah. Um, the Washington Nationals demonstrated to young players all over the world what can be accomplished through grit and determination and gave fans a moment they will cherish for the rest of their lives. So, therefore, now be resolved that the House of Do uh, Delegates, the Senate concurring, that the General Assembly hereby commend the Washington Nationals 2019 World Series champions.
Thank you so much, Mike Rizzo and Jennifer Mastin, Gilio and Carter, and Tawana West uh, of the World Series champion Washington Nationals for joining us here today on the floor and in the Capitol and bringing with you that some real fancy hardware there. Uh, this, this fall, this fall, this fall the Nationals showed us what it means to never give up and to always stay in the fight. And the 2019 Washington Nationals made so many throughout the Commonwealth so joyful and so incredibly proud. So we thank you. You truly are Virginians champions. And thank you for being us. Enjoy your day on Capitol Square. Yeah.